In this video, I'm going to show you how to play Oculus Rift games on Windows Mixed Reality headsets. Hello and welcome again here at Mixed Reality TV. My name is Sebastian Ang, and if this is your first time here and you would like to stay up to date about anything Windows MR and the VR and AR industry in general, subscribe now and don't forget to click the bell button so you don't miss any episode. And now let me show you how to play Oculus Rift games on your Windows Mixed Reality headset. Now for this video, I assume that you already got Steam VR running and that you can already play Steam VR games on your Windows MR headset. If that is not the case, go to my other tutorial video in which I explain how to play Steam VR games on your Windows MR headset and then come back here. For all others, let's get into it now. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to install Oculus Home. Go to oculus.com and here go to Rift on the left top and then go to Setup here on the right. Here it is. And then click on, not let's get started, but download Oculus software. And then after you've downloaded the software, simply follow all the steps. However, skip setup. So you have to skip the Rift setup. Now I'm not showing you this because I already had Oculus Home installed since I own a Rift. However, I'm sure you will get it done. The next thing that you have to do is you have to download Revive. Look for Revive Installer. And now click on the releases link, which will directly bring you to the latest releases. Now in this moment in time, on the 14th November 2017, you should go for the second beta version, 1.2.0. Now if you're from the future and watching this much later, then you should probably download a newer version, another version other than this beta 1.2.0. Now click on reviveinstaller.exe and run this file. It's only 50 megabytes, so that should be pretty quick. And then, well, it will install. Now you first have to agree to the license agreement, of course, and yeah, choose the path and so on and so forth. And then, well, it's going to install. And again, this should finish fairly quickly. So Revive is the software that allows you to play Oculus Rift titles. And actually that was made for Vive players who want to play Oculus Rift titles. But now since we have the Windows MR headsets and are able to play Steam VR games, we can now also run Revive, which plays in Steam VR and can play Oculus Rift games, even though that was meant for Vive players. <laughs> That's pretty interesting, isn't it? And while I was explaining this to you, the installation has completed. I click on finish. And that is really it. You are done now. So that is really easy, isn't it? Now I'm going to show you how to actually launch the Oculus game. So what do you have to do? You have to start Oculus Home simply by clicking on the Oculus symbol here on the desktop. Let me do that here right now. So Oculus Home is going to start now. And well, obviously you will need to purchase a game. I did that already before, since again, I own the Oculus Rift. So I don't need to purchase anything and here is Oculus Home. Now, what you do next, you have to start your Windows MR headset. So simply um, put on the Windows MR headset or start the Windows Mixed Reality app, but you can simply put on the headset as well and everything will start automatically. So I did that right now, I just put on the headset. Now, what is great about most of the Windows MR headsets, you can simply flip up the visor so that you can go back to the desktop, like I did right now. And the next thing that you have to do is you simply start Steam and within Steam, start Steam VR, which you can simply do by clicking on Steam VR on the top right of the Steam VR window. Not here, no, it is here. Exactly, click on it. And now Steam VR is going to start. Let me show you that in VR, this is now what I see in the Cliff House. And here Steam VR starts. And because we have just installed Revive, there should be an additional button in the menu on the bottom. I'm going to check this out. So, yeah, here are my motion controllers. This is Steam VR. 
And indeed, here is the new revive button. I click it and here you see all my Oculus Rift apps and games. It just works perfectly. Now let's start one of those. And I would love to show you Robo Recall, which is one of my absolute favorite games on the Oculus Rift. And I'm going to play it now here on my Windows MR headset. Now what's happening now is the game is loading and that will take quite a while but this is completely normal even when I start the game from the Oculus Home it will take a few moments to load that is really normal and I can tell you right now what kind of computer I'm using for this demonstration here this is actually a laptop and this laptop is an MSI Raider gaming laptop with a GDX 1070 so it's it's a good system however it is not the fastest it's not a gaming rig this is a laptop but anyways now it has finished loading and here it is epic games robo recall on windows mixed reality headsets now the controllers still look like the rift ones however this is going to change soon Okay, yeah, Robo Recall, absolutely awesome. I can just recommend it to you. If you have not played this game yet, you have to play it as soon as possible. It's incredible. And there for a second you saw that the motion controllers changed into the Windows ones, but they changed back to Oculus ones, no idea why. Anyways, this is me playing this with my Windows Mixed Reality headset. I'm playing this with the Lenovo Explorer, which I think is just great. Now let me play this for around 2 minutes just to show you that gameplay just works fine. I didn't hear, uh, he, you saw the controllers now? Now it's the Windows Mixed Reality controllers, exactly. So um, I didn't do any adjustments, nothing. I didn't do any button configurations or anything. I simply installed Revive as you've seen it and now I've clicked on the Revive button and started this game which is Robo Recall. I can teleport, everything is exactly like on the Oculus Touch controller and also later in the game when it gets to shooting and stuff, everything works fine. Just clicking on the trigger button to shoot, clicking on the grip button to grab stuff and uh, yeah it's great. So it's really an advantage that the Windows MR controller has both a joystick and a touchpad so you can play all the oculus rift games perfectly you can play the vive games so wow in the beginning i was not so happy about the controller because of the handling because of the ergonomics but now since i used it to play steam vr games and oculus games i'm really happy also what the tracking is concerned it works just fine it works great actually i can play a game like robo recall without any problems and well you will see it very soon and also i was waving the motion controllers around it's exactly the same feeling as if you would be playing oculus rift actually actually this is better than if you have only two base stations with the oculus rift because if you only have two base stations front facing then, well, if you if you face away from them, your controllers won't be tracked. But that is not the case with the Windows MR headsets and controllers. So tracking is really great and I have really no complaints whatsoever. And I'm so happy that I can play Robo Recall now on my Windows MR headset. Because this looks so much better than on my Oculus Rift. So enjoy a few moments of gameplay as you can tell here. I can do everything, everything just in Oculus Rift. I'm teleporting, I'm shooting, I'm reloading. I can dodge the bullets. Also headset tracking works perfectly fine. Really, really impressive. And yeah, this is the best way that you can play Robo Recall right now. Probably until the Pimax 8K comes. Well, I'm also going to show you that here on Mixed Reality TV. So that is how you play Oculus Rift games on your Windows MR headsets. And as you could tell, it is fairly easy to make it happen and it works just like a charm. So that makes these Windows MR headsets so versatile. Actually, you can play all Steam VR games, you can play the Oculus Rift games, and of course, you can play the Windows MR games. Like for example, in the future, there will be a Halo game and that should be pretty awesome. And well, now you can pick one up for only $299 during Black Friday sales. So, well, it is totally recommended to pick one of these up.
So that's it for this video. Now, if you have any questions or if you would like me to try out any Oculus Rift game or Steam VR game on Windows MR, please do leave a comment in the comment section below. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not subscribed to Mixed Reality TV yet, do so now. I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode. See you then.